such thing as anything like a big bad wolf. Wolves actually are not savage creatures like in the European tale. I'm here at Margaret Jenkins uh, on the invitation of the school and to teach the kids about, uh, about wolves and, uh, and the importance of wolves in ecosystems. Wolves are carnivores, meaning they eat meat. Wolves are also an obligate carnivore, meaning they have to eat meat to get their energy and they want a high fat diet. So these guys eat both raw and cooked chicken and pork. We thought this would be a brilliant opportunity to ask uh, Gary if he would bring Tundra for them to learn really hands-on. What are, what are wolves? What are they like? What, is, what are their characteristics? How important are they to the environment? It means so much more when you actually meet the animal. I really enjoy seeing wildlife. When you just see it in a video or something, it's like kind of saying, oh cool, it's a wolf, but when you look at it, up at it, up close, it's, whoa, it's a wolf. I don't think there was any fear at all. I expected somebody to say, no, I don't want to go, I'm afraid. I didn't have one child say no. Everyone wanted to be here. Everyone was enthusiastic. She's really beautiful of just looking at her. Well, Tundra's a female. She's 10, uh, 10 and a half years old. She is referred to as a very high content wolf dog. She's 90% wolf with about 10% Malamute. But as you can see her, she looks all wolf. I've had wolf biologists that have seen her and they don't see any difference between her and her wild cousins. Well, we learned a lot of different things. Like we learned that they don't hibernate and they mostly sleep during the day. These animals, um, while they're beautiful in that, uh, they they don't uh, really belong in, in families. I think um, the wolves are important parts of our ecosystem and they're not bad at all. They're what is referred to as the keepers of the balance. They maintain and create healthy ecosystems. And when you take them out of the ecosystem, as it happened in Yellowstone, and they reintroduced them, that ecosystem came back to be healthy. So these are a keystone species. They're at the very top of the food chain and they regulate things below it and keep things in balance. The First Nations, the Inuit and the Métis people were not afraid of wolves, that they saw wolves as important partners in the uh, management of the ecosystem. And comparing those stories to the European stories suddenly began to twig for the children that there's different perspectives in the world about the same things. So uh, that was very eye-opening for them. That kind of comparative study, of course, is very powerful. The myths about uh, wolves and is uh, very hard to dispel. The science clearly shows that killing wolves is biologically wrong, uh, but the hunters and the trappers continue to, to kill them uh, with, um, I would say, the concurrence of the, the provincial government and the Fish and Wildlife Branch. Um, and they clearly, from my conversations with them, they clearly don't understand about this animal and the importance of it. They're the ones that are going to keep ecosystems balanced because they keep the prey, like deer, in check because if you get too many deer, they can do irreparable damage by eating all the vegetation and everything. That affects the beavers, the squirrels, the rabbits, da 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 da. We are uh, very much about environmental education in this school. We attach it to social responsibility, we attach it to science, we attach it to social studies. I think the only reason that a wolf should kill a human is if they harm them. It was really exciting and uh, it felt amazing. I have no doubt that these children will never forget this great opportunity. Mm -hmm.